been standing here the whole time. But you know, you know what? That's fine. I'll just go have a dog-style celebration by myself. Yeah! Awesome time! This is very fun for me! Hey! Oh, hey! This is fun, right? The best! And me too! Sure, that sounds great. And you know what? It'll be nice having a little extra cash to bet on college football. Yeah, I'd like to bet a hundred bucks. You want to pick a team? No, just take it. <laughs> Aha! Welcome back to CNBC's Moneyline. Oh, come on, man. Nobody's buying that. You expect me to believe you own stocks? Bat Industries was up $2 a share today in heavy trading. Huh. Get back here! Damn it! God! Again. I'm not in that guy's library anymore. I snuck up to the attic just before the cops busted in. They're down there now. Look. Only problem is, I really want to get to that trunk of costumes in the corner. On the one hand, I don't want to give away my location. On the other hand, there might be a pirate hat. Mm, no pirate hat, but I'll make it work. Arr, I'm a chef aboard a pirate ship. Now, who be wanting pancakes? I think I hear something in the attic. Oh, crap. While I figure out my options, here's Huckleberry Finn. Ow! I don't know which way the horse goes. Ah! Why is that guy laughing at me, and where is he? There was a time limit? Nobody told me that. Ah! Time for a good door, bad door. Wait, how bad is the bad door? Grandpa son, how bad was the bad door? Not too bad. But shortly afterwards, I was almost eaten alive by an escalator. The game is still going on? Oh, ho, ho, ho. you lose Jess! Ah! Ow! 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 What the hell are you doing? I wanted to bring over something to welcome Gronk to the neighborhood, so I scraped all the Cool Ranch off of 15 bags of Doritos. You bringing him a bowl of powder? Yeah, I thought he could eat it by the fistful or rub it on his balls. Peter. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Peter, what note are you playing? I I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not familiar. Note? Haven't you been practicing? All right, fine, I haven't. But I've been doing other violin stuff. Like, I bought this jacket like what Bugs Bunny wears when he's with that opera guy. Wow, that looks sharp. Yeah, I've been practicing how to sit down in it. Ew, Peter, those tails are soaking wet. They may have been in the toilet. I checked with my mom, and she said it was cool with her if we wanted to sleep here tonight. I'm pretty sure I can. Count me in. Oh, I'm going to have to go home and get my pillow. <laughs> yes, you heard me right. Cancel my insurance. I've been in this location for 40 years, and never once have I broken a lamp. Good day, sir. Good afternoon. We had a budget meeting that ran long, so I'm going to eat my lunch while I hold this press conference. Ooh, my favorite loose cop salad in a lunchbox. I'm going to now shake this up like a lady in your office. Okay, while the dressing does its magic, let's honor Officer Joe Swanson. Hoof decision. Like what to do with that big watermelon I bought. Griffin, I just wanted to tell you. That's a great outfit. Keep it up. I knew it. I have to start trusting myself more. All right, listen up, maggots. Fun's over. There's going to be some changes around here. And what better way to show you I'm serious than to smash a desk with a baseball bat? And 
Quagmire owes me a favor anyway, remember? Last time he went out of town, I sat on his eggs for him. Peter, it's time for lunch. Sorry, Lois, can't leave the eggs till Quagmire gets back. We're having sloppy joes. Well, I guess I haven't seen that mongoose in a while. We're having sloppy joes. Yeah, I heard. Please say you got the onion bun. We're having sloppy joes. <gasps> mongoose! <gasps> Mongeese! Oh, would you uh, like to join us? That didn't sound like a real invitation. See, this is why no one ever wants to f you. Whoa! I did not see that coming. One more. Let's watch one more. Well, hold on. Like all television viewers, our first priority before deciding to continue watching a show should be whether or not it features enough diversity. I felt very well represented. Oh, I'm glad, honey. Mm. Hey, thanks for letting me come over, you guys. Guys, I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna thread the needle! What? We can't hear you! We're very far away! Oh my god, I did it! I was actually able to thread the... Oh crap, Canadian ghosts! Look out, eh? Damn it! Oh, son of a bitch! I think I'm okay. Ah, Nichols! Enough! My parents will be here any minute. You better get this house cleaned up. Don't worry, Lois. I have a Roomba. Okay, wait, wait, wait a minute. It'll, it'll figure it out. It's learning. That's, that's part of what it does. I think it's getting it. Now she's cooking. Hang on to your hat. Clean floor, dead ahead. Good purchase. Behold the future. All right, here it goes. And the battery's dead. Mr. President, we have a situation. The Decepticons plan to destroy the seven wonders of the world, starting with the Hagia Sophia. The what? Is that even one of the seven wonders? The Decepticons have only one weakness. They're allergic to beer. I don't like the taste either so much. That chest plate is where they're most vulnerable. If we could find someone strong enough to throw a keg with enough force, we might have a shot. <laughs> the only problem is there's not a man alive who can throw a keg with that kind of force. There may be one. <sighs> okay, fine. I guess it's just something I gotta deal with. Like the flush of a high-powered toilet. Your real self, and then see what happens. But I... I don't think I know how. Everything about me is this carefully constructed persona designed to keep people at arm's length. This isn't even how I really talk. This is. This is how I talk. The accent is nothing more than an affectation. A coat of armor to get me through the day. Just an image I cultivated so I could feel special. <sighs> wow. What a relief. For once, to talk with my real voice without the, the burden of trying to sound like someone I'm not. What do you mean by that? Well, this is my real voice. I don't hear a difference. How about now? You freaking hear that? What about now? Sound different? Giggity? What about now? Coming up now, this voice. Ahoy, it's me. And I'm a gay alien. I'm sorry, that just all sounds like the same person. <sighs> Another dull night at the Gentleman's Club. What we need is some room temperature gin. Hello, gents. Fancy some room temperature gin? Shut up, you slag. No women allowed. Room temperature gin. Drink it without women, have an eel pie, then go to bed. I told you, I'm not Aquaman. I am the Submariner. What's your deal? I'm just like Aquaman, but I can't get fish to do things. That's the big thing. I mean, isn't that all Aquaman does? No, he can also breathe underwater, and he's strong, like me. Isn't everyone strong underwater? No, no, not like me. I can punch a big octopus a really long way. Hey, guys. Hey, Aquaman. <laughs> yeah. Hey, make a fish do something. Oh, shucks, guys. I don't know. I guess I could do something like this. Wow, a real superhero. I, I have little wings on my feet. It's over.
Yeah! <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Welcome to Poetry 101. I'm Professor Griffin. Please open your books to the introduction which defines what poetry is. Now rip it out. Do we include the foreword? Yes, I suppose. What about the preface? Yes, the preface too. So, not the acknowledgments? What about the frontispiece? That's not even a thing. Yes, it is. It's the illustration facing the title page. Just rip everything out that's not poetry. You wrote on the board, everything is poetry. Ignore that. He didn't know what a frontispiece was. Professor Griffin sucks. All right, the museum is that way, so let's fold the map and go. Okay, a couple more folds. Nope, okay, wrong end. Now let's see. Nope, nope, that's wrong. Find the corners. It's not a puzzle, Chris. But you gotta fold on the creases. I'd be able to find the creases if somebody had folded it correctly last time. I did fold it correctly. Nope, you didn't. And then you jammed it into a backpack, and now I'm in this mess. Don't blame me. You ripped it up when you were tearing through the backpack for your snacks. Okay, this is why I wanted to bring a globe. All right, you don't have to fold a globe. Who the hell would bring a globe on vacation? See, bud, we're eating food, and they're tearing each other apart. Where to next, mon chéri? Oh, hey, Quagmire. Hey, Peter, I just came by to thank you for giving me the kick in the pants I needed to stop feeling sorry for myself and embrace my new life. I farted. As a result, I've rediscovered an old hobby I used to love as a kid, ventriloquism. And I wanted to invite you guys to the opening of my new show at the Quahog Playhouse. Quagmire, we'd be delighted to attend. Wouldn't miss it. Gosh, thanks, Peter. That means a lot. Okay, see you there. Damn it! Why did I even open the door? Ah! Getting excited. Now I gotta go to this thing. Ah, bite me! Laughing already just thinking about it. Only one way to get out of this. Okay, kids. I know how you always wanted kittens, so guess what I brought home? This very pregnant, about-to-burst, distended nipple street cat. Peter, you can't bring home a feral cat. She doesn't want to be around people right now. She needs a quiet space to have her kittens. Yeah, so everyone gather around close. Her name is Sophie, and she's fully dilated. <coughs> Chris, she doesn't like that. But I understand the instinct. Now, we all need to do our part to help with the birth. Meg, boil some water. Brian, get some clean rags. Chris, blankets. Dewey, band-aids for me. Isn't it nice that we're spending this time together as a family? Let's go spend it in the ER.